first of all, I'm hot. <laughs> That's A. <laughs> I'm back with another video. That's back. Um, it's your girl Nasia G, also known as Glam is T. And if you're new here, then welcome to the Glam family, y'all. Um, thank you so much. I wanted to start out with saying thank you um, for all the beautiful comments I got and messages I got um, with my last video. You guys made me cry, um, but it was really an emotional video, and. I don't know I'm just thankful that I was able to touch some people I've gotten beautiful beautiful messages and we are taking this faith walk together so with that being said today's video is all about five tools you can use to start your faith walk things that I use um, on the daily pretty much um, that help me out and yeah keep me going and keep me believing and keep me motivated um, so I'm going to give you five tips or tricks or tools, whatever you want to call them to, you know, start your faith walk, encourage your faith walk, build up your faith walk, you know. Um, yeah. So if you guys are not subscribed, what you doing? We, we supposed to be family and families support each other. So like smash the like button, make sure you guys like and comment because it helps me so 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 much but without further ado let's get into the video okay guys so these are five tools that are going to help you along with your faith walk like i said these are tips and tools i use on the day to day not all five of them sometimes all five of them depending on the day baby some days we just need that extra encouragement that extra light that extra speaking to our souls and our spirits you know because some days we're getting discouraged some days are harder than others um with everything going on in this world this year has been so cruel to so many people and we've been hurting like the whole world we're just hurting especially black people i don't know if i can read my shirt but it says black is my happy color yeah us black people we've been mourning all year but that's another topic for another video let's get into these five tools so the first one i'm going to talk about are i'm looking at my notebook too by the way guys are bible apps so i'm pretty sure you guys know about the holy bible app um it's not uncommon to anyone i don't think i mean if you you know ever google it in like your app it's, it's gonna say bible app um but there is a new one it is like the new king james version so i have both apps i was using the holy bible app the original um app a while ago and literally it's just an app where you can read the Bible, but you can also find different plans and different prayer plans as well. So right now my plan is faith over fear. Um, it's just one that I feel like I needed to read at the time. So that's what I picked, but you also get like a daily scripture and there's also a daily devotion, um, which you can read and, you know, log on to. So that is the original Holy Bible app. If I can get it on the screen, it will be somewhere on the screen y'all. I'm working on my editing skills. The second app, um, which is the Holy Bible app, but it's like the new NIV version. It is a little more, I guess, up to date. They both do the same thing. You can both you can read the app, you can read the Bible on both apps. Um, but they also have plans. They also have daily devotions. They also have prayer check-in. Like literally, like there's a morning prayer and there's a night prayer. And literally, if you read it and you press Amen, like you'll get like a little notification, like oh, you've had this many prayers, this much study time, this much read time. So that one is more so like you really want to be studying and reading. Um, but it else is also helpful. I've been using both. Um, I'm getting daily doses of both the Bible apps. Personally, I don't know which one I like it better just yet. I know on the original Holy Bible app you can follow um people so if you guys want to follow me i'm gonna have my stuff somewhere on the screen um it's just nasia g just the same thing as youtube and maybe we can you know do some prayer plans or uh devotional plans together so yeah that's my first tip or tool my second one is online sermons now y'all y'all know we're still in the middle of a pandemic outside is pretty much open but i don't think that anyone is going to sit in a church if you are please wear your mask. Um, but I am personally not in the church community right now. And I do not have a church home. Like I said, we're 
we're figuring this walk together and we're doing it our own way i do not have a church home i do not know when i will have another church home but i have found online pastors and i call them my spiritual online advisors that have helped me through some things and they have different sermons and great and powerful words y'all and they're right at your fingertips they're on instagram they're on facebook they're on youtube so the first pastor i'm going to talk about is dr darius daniel i just found um pastor darius like a week ago y'all and i've been watching Okay, I like to start my, some mornings I like to start my mornings with a sermon because sometimes you just need that word to get you going in the morning. But right now he's doing the Unbreakable series. I think by the time this video goes up, episode three should be out, y'all. The first episode that I watched was Unbreakable Faith. Y'all, was speaking to me, was speaking to me. Like, it's just I can't explain it if you are spiritual and you listen to pastors you listen to them as you just know when it connects when it feeds your soul when you feel like you got fed when your belly is full of the word you just feel it so i've been really watching him and listening to his different sermons he has a quite a few series so i'm going to be tapping into those and you guys can always follow me on instagram shameless plug It'll be some here, right here on the screen where you can watch my stories. My stories always have something inspirational. So that leads me into tip number three, y'all. Following inspirational spiritual people, the po positive people, positive pages, positive messages. I can't tell you how much they help me. Like I literally start my day on my story, again on Instagram, follow me, um, with a scripture or a positive message or a... A motivational message because I don't know who to help because I know it helps me you know I always post something that maybe I may be feeling or maybe sometimes I need a little extra oomph. like this is me talking to myself like I don't know who need to hear this but you know that you really need to hear it yeah like that um but those help me so much and also just following positive and inspirational people and people that you're taking with taking into your season with you um sometimes you just need to unfollow like you, you we all got people on our Instagram from like high school and you're like, I don't even talk to these people no more. Like, why am I following them? And they be talking about drama and unfollow, unfollow. Okay, follow you some inspirational places. So once again, if I can get it on the screen, all fancy like it's gonna be on the screen, but take out your pen and paper and get this down. So one of my favorite pages is the Fruitful Girl on Instagram. I'm assuming it's ran by a woman, but we really don't know, but they have the best motivational messages prayers um you know manifestation post like i really don't like to mix up manifestation and prayer but you know just different things that just keep you going so i really like to post them and if you're like me and you like cute aesthetic they always have some cute aesthetic girl you're welcome um oh my gosh wait i have to go back i have to go back um the other pastor from tip two, the online sermons, um, is the your very own Jerry Flower Jr. Oh my gosh. Please tag him below if you watch him. He is my online spiritual advisor. He's been my online spiritual advisor for months now. Him and his wife, oh my gosh, if I can get it on the screen. They are amazing. Redefine TV, where we redefine the relationships righteously. Y'all, I love them. They get me hype, I'll be watching different things. And sometimes, you know, you can go on YouTube and watch his sermons, but you can use, watch, uh, uh, go on his Instagram and just watch his different series. You be like, I be watching this stuff like, why he in my business? <laughs> like, oh my God, that was for me. Like, y'all, he is such a powerful person, a pastor, a teacher. Him and his wife are beautiful. And they give you the real tea uncut uncut baby your feelings gonna be you know, your feelings may be a little hurt watching it but you know it's just y'all till you got your little airpods in like nobody gonna hear it but you may think like dang like what are they talking to me y'all tap in tap in because he be he be giving it to you he be once again belly be full give you something to think about you start questioning yourself like dang like not in a bad way but it's like dang maybe i do need to change up maybe i do need to let some people go maybe i do need to like um you know stop close off the dating you know close up f f shop for some things baby yes so that is another pastor that i always look to for a positive message or just you know advice or if i'm just like literally scrolling through instagram and you just see a whole bunch of negativity like i'll just go on his page and like let me watch something positive let me watch something that's gonna like pour into me versus drain me you know 
and yeah so back to following inspirational people i mean that is a person of inspiration but pages like pictures and memes that say positive things so i gave y'all fruitful girl the next one is living revelations they have the best messages too like each page has their own tone and different um theme so you just realize as you go along like what speaks to you like it'll be a simple post like but you can and it's like wow like you right i can like you may be down yourself and you read that and you're like you so right or just like following them and having them pop up throughout the day like like i said you'd be scrolling through drama and shade room hmm, and such and such baby mother and this and there just scrolling and seeing like you know a scripture or a positive message like it's so helpful like you never know when a positive message is gonna pop up because you know the algorithm on instagram is out of whack so you never know like you may just be feeling down you may get something that's like dang that was for me so those are two pages i follow and then the last page is worthy of grace which again is another christian based page you know scriptures positive messages they be reposting pastors and different things different sermons you know different devotions that may work for you so those are three pages that i like to stick to um there's thousands more out there that you may find or even just find on your popular page once you start liking and reading different things you know on your popular page it circulates to what you're feeding the instagram algorithm so if you're positive if you're searching positivity it's going to put out positivity so that's one thing that i like to do and like i said i always start my day with a prayer a message a scripture something on my instagram story just to start the day because i never know who's going to see it and i don't know who it's going to help so that's what i like to do and though that is not my ah, that is tip number three y'all whoo tip number four this is real simple gospel music period like y'all y'all don't realize how much once you get whatever you feed into your body into your spirit into your mind it's going to transpire if you start the music with bang it book it book it music as my mom used to call it like that's how your day will run that's how your course will run not saying i don't listen to r&b and pop and rap i do but to start my day y'all i listen to gospel straight up gospel it could be slower gospel it could be upbeat gospel i love me some kirk franklin i know i can't sing <laughs> don't come for me in the comments but you know it depends on your mood like some days you do need a slower melody to get you you know feeling it depends on how you feel but it just feeds my spirit like when i'm driving to work i be or I'll be just sitting here just grateful, 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 grateful. You never, like, it depends on your mood. And, you know, some of my favorite artists are Marvin Sapp, Kirk Franklin, Tasha Cobbs, um, Dietrich Coward. I think that's his last name. Hope so. I love them. They're all on my playlist. Um, and if you guys want my playlist, please let me know. If you guys want my gospel playlist, please let me know in the comments. And I will got, I will put y'all on some songs. And, you know, we can be praising and worshiping together in the comments on Instagram. Again, I say follow me. And stop. Like this video. Like the video. You're already 13, 14 minutes in. Like the video. But my last and final tip, y'all. You gonna be like, really, sis? That's the last tip? Pray pray and i know you saying like girl what if i don't know how to pray i don't pray how i know he hear me pray and when i say pray you can pray in the morning you can pray now you can pray throughout the day me personally i start my mornings before i open my eyes well not before i open my eyes but before i touch my phone i pray simple simple prayers god let me have a good blessed day no weapons for phone to give me shall prosper prayer okay when i get in my car prayer you have like prayer is powerful your mouth your tongue is powerful whatever you put out or don't put out will come to pass like god get me to a point a to point b period like you don't have to get on your knees and pray you don't have to do anything you don't even have to be formal if you don't know how to be formal or saying these uh, just you could just be talking to him like all right god like so this is what's going on like, really, God, what's that about? Like, you can talk to him like your homeboy. Like, because at the end of the day, oh, your homegirl, because at the end of the day, he listens and he hears you. Like, he hears you. Some days it's just like, God, really? You, that's really what we doing? Like, what's up? Like, some days when I wake up and I'll be up at 3 o'clock in the morning and it's just like, okay, God, so what you trying to tell me? Because there's no other reason I'm up at this time. So what's up? Or sometimes it's just like, you know, crying out to him and, you know, speaking. Like, just talk. 
just talk talk out and speak those words out into the world because there's power in your tongue y'all y'all don't understand like some people always be like i don't know how to pray talk are you having a conversation like with your friend or this is like a a, a bullet point to five write your prayers down and when you write them down you can write them in a the book i personally do a digital journal on my phone and my notes literally you can write them down and those are prayers like you're speaking your prayers you know but it may just be venting like okay god today today was a hard day i'm feeling like this i'm feeling overwhelmed i'm feeling defeated i'm feeling upset write them down and amen and just sit them out and that's it that's all you have to do and to me it helps i don't like to vent to people because i just feel like everyone has their own problems and you know own lives going on so me personally at the end of the day depending on if i'm happy if i'm unsure if i'm overwhelmed i write it down literally and i ask god to guide me with whatever i put out there and let his will be done and that's literally it like just pray like just speak it out like god and not only when you want something but just when you're feeling like all right god i'm happy thank you god i am overwhelmed you know relax me something like just speak it out like y'all it will start you will start to see if you don't if you feel like you don't know how to pray once you start to just speak to him it you will get better at it and you will understand as well as you know reading scriptures and reading your bible but those prayers those are your intimate conversations with god so whether you write them down whether you're just in your room in your car in your bathroom speaking them those are your intimate moments with god and He's like, okay, she's taking time out to 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 speak to me, to acknowledge me. That like it's like any other relationship in your life. You have to put effort into the relationship that you want with God or into your faith walk. Like you have to, because if not, how are you going to grow? How are you going to feed your spirit? How are you going to understand where God is taking you if you're not talking to him, if you're not admitting to him, if you're not crying out to him? Because literally, that's what he wants. He wants us to rely on him. Rely on him. When you're stressing out, oh my God, I got bills paid, I got school, I got midterms, I got this, this broke down, this got He's like, are you done? Are you finished? Are you going to let me do my job? Yeah, you you done? Oh, you're not finished yet? Go ahead. Okay, now you're done. <laughs> now you're praying. Now you're talking to me. Now you're asking me for my guidance. Now you're asking me, where should you, where should you go? Where should you turn? Okay, I was waiting for the invite because you was trying to move without me and you was about to move and mess on up, Okay. That is that is how I feel like God really looks at us like, look at this girl. She bugging out. She know I'm about to make her way. Like, here she go again. Trying to do it without me. Okay, I'm going to sit back and wait. Um, and then he just comes in. He's always on time, y'all. He's always on time. But that is it for this video. These are the, Those are my five steps. I hope I wasn't all over the place. I know I had a mix up with two and three going back and forth. But... I will link everything I mentioned down below, the apps, the pastors, um, the Instagram pages, um, but I'm really going to link mine and literally you can probably just tap on my story and find some of them. Or if you go on my Instagram, there's a little bubble, like my highlights, it says motivation. You can always go in there and literally find pretty much anything, positive messages, prayers, manifestation. It's all in there. Go on there and take what you need. Literally, that's why it's there. I want my highlights to be something that you can be a positive light into somebody else. So if you can go and go in there and find one of these pages, make sure you do so. Again, my Instagram is on the screen somewhere. It is also linked down below. Gospel music. Let me know if y'all want my playlist. Because, you know, we could be jamming together. We could be jamming together. <laughs> Praising God. Giving him the thanks. Okay. And lastly, pray. Speak to God. That is all for this video, guys. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. I say again because you guys liking and commenting is helping your girl out. It's helping other people find the faith walk. Don't y'all want other people to join the faith walk with us? Like, you know, you want a brother and sister or part of the Glam fam that's like, oh, okay, like, yeah, they want to join the faith walk too. So, like, like the video. It helps your girl out. Follow me on all socials. They are down below and probably somewhere on this screen. But that is all. I love you guys so, 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 so much. So, so, so much. I hope everyone's staying safe and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys. Mwah.